I've got some amazing news, mate. Oh, aye? Aye. Right, go on then. No guess. Guess? I don't know. Carol's pregnant? No. Just tell me. Oh, and guess. Don't spoil it. <sighs> you won something? Won what? Money? No. A prize then? No. But you have won something? No, nothing to do with winning. <laughs> Just tell me. Just guess. Give me a clue at least. All right. It's something. good. <laughs> that's a clue. It's amazing news. It's something that's amazing news. That was the first thing you said when you came in. How is that a clue? Oh, just guess, will you? Jealous bastard. I'm jealous? How can I be jealous? Because you're jealous of my amazing news, so you won't guess. How can I be jealous of something you won't tell me about? Just guess. You guess! You guess! You got a job. Something good, I said. A fun treasure. Treasure? Forget it. Forget it! Don't you shout at me? The hell with you. I'm off. You had a nice cake. No. Somebody bought you a cat. No. Somebody bought you a horse. No. You got a modelling contract. No. Tell me! Yes! Tell me your amazing news! Yes! Oh, I don't care what it is. It'll be nothing anyway, cos nothing exciting ever happens to you. You're a bore! I hate you! <laughs> I got a tattoo. That was the amazing news. I got a tattoo of you riding a unicorn. <laughs> Best friend. <laughs> Best friend. <laughs> When we Frank walked into the room, we thought it was a joke. He had entirely the wrong image. All right, my name's Wee Frank. It's what the boys call me. F***ing just thought I'd... Could you not swear, please? Sorry. Sorry, f***ing... I just asked you not to swear. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just a... Uh, what do you want to call it? Sorry, do you have two rets or something? No, no, it's a, it's a Scottish thing. It's like a comma to us swearing. No, I'm sorry, right? I didn't mean to. But when we Frank started to sing, we knew something very special was happening. I've been really trying, baby. <laughs> trying to hold back this feeling for so long. Now if you feel like I feel, baby, come on, ooh, come on, let's get it on. He has a unique talent. He does have this vocal tick, which I believe is just a natural development of where he grew up. But with the proper training, we were sure we could eradicate it and make him the success he deserves to be. Can you say this for me? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The f***ing quick? No, again. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. F***ing No, again. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox. F***ing No, again. F***ing the quick. No, again. No, the quick. The quick. Brown fox. Brown fox. Jumped over. Jumped over. The lazy dog. The f lazy. No, no, no. We knew we had to play to Wee Frank's strengths. And I know the single has been criticised in some quarters, but I think it's great. Stay of this. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I'm with that <laughs> mental. <laughs> oh, what was that again? 
hang me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Crutches. Don't go into the brew with it, Crutches, mate. Yes, man. Crutch hire. Here, mate. That's a tenner for that. <laughs> Crutch hire. Get your crutches. <laughs> We have to sit in the front row. What? Well, it's too close. I mean, it's just right there, isn't it? Oh, shush. Are you back, darling? But that was that was powerful. I mean, I was uncomfortable in that, but uh, it was powerful stuff. I mean, I'm glad it's finished. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now be having a short interval. Be sure to stretch your legs. The second act is of an unprecedented length. What's that voice coming from? What's she talking about? Second act? Oh, no, be about me, will it? Oh, but one, one of yours up. Run away! Run away!
Oh, come on, mate. There's a whole row of machines here. Why have you got to pick the one right beside me? Can I look to my left? Can I look about? Can I have our eyes meeting constantly? Just going to have to stare straight ahead. Act like I'm focused. Go and one that faces the same way as us next time, dickhead. What's just going with this arse piece? Acting like can't he see me when I'm right here. Hello, arse piece. Hello. He's looking at me. You kind of look at a guy you don't know when you're that close. Arse piece. Just fell into my rhythm now as well. Look at me, arse piece. I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> Arse piece. Yeah, I'm going to change speed so that I'm going forward as he's going back. Oh, I think you can outrace me. Let's go. Let's do it. No, oh, he thinks I'm racing him. Right, fine, fine. You go faster then, mate. Race away. Oh, I can see an energy, is it? Hoping I'm going to tire out. You are not more of a man than me, arse piece. <laughs> right, what's the score with this arse piece? You fancy me or something, mate? Will we touch tongues as we pass next time? <laughs> I'll check it, but he's looking at me. Do you fancy me or something, arse piece? I hope it's just you and me when I go into that changing room, because I'm going to smack you one in the mouth, arse piece. Oh, I hope it's just you and me when I go into that changing room, because I'm going to smack you one in the mouth, arse piece. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, time for a slow dance now, I think. Uh, this is a song I wrote while I was waiting for my dinner in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's enough of that. something to say, Walter. Just come right out and say it. I want to know what you've got yourself all washed up for it anyway. I was filthy. Who have you got to be not be not be not filthy for? It gets sticky on this van. Sometimes I don't like being sticky. You don't like being sticky for who? None of your business. You'd never get yourself all cleaned up for my benefit, would you? That's right. You don't merit a wash. <laughs> What if something bad happened to me? Like I just died anyway. I bet you wish you would have gotten clean for me then. How about you go and die then? <laughs> oh, that'll do be a cleaner place. <laughs> Can I have? I'm sorry, Walter. I didn't mean that. Walter. I'm never gonna die anyway. <laughs> Who's it you're getting all clean for? <laughs> I'm going on a date. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> What can I get for you? Can I...? It was board game night. It's our <laughs> one night together anyway. Every night is our one bloody night together, Walter. Who is it you love me and your brother? Who is it? 
It's a date. I don't love her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even like lassies anyway. I do like lassies, Walter. And you'll go to the mad fire for saying that I don't. <laughs> you talk like a lassie anyway. <laughs> you talk like a shite with a dead bird's beak stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have? I am not a job here with a beat. I'm not. I'm sorry, Walter. I didn't mean that. You just make me so mad sometimes. I'm going to take my wee man and I'm going to rub it in all your suit sleeves and I'm going to rub it in your pockets and then you'll have nothing to wear. How does that sound anyway? Any chance of getting served? Any chance of you shutting your smelly ugly face anyway? <laughs> I took the lid off of Mammy <laughs> and she heard every cheeky word you said. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mammy. Paul was annoying me. She said I have to scalp your bare bum for you six times. Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to scalp the bum anyway! Ah, oh, that's too scalp the bum anyway! The fuck! No! I'm driving away, Walter, and I'm going out to have a good time with that lassie without you! <laughs> Don't you dare. Maybe they ever found you, Paul. It must be your day. Hello? No, I can't come and pick you up tonight anyway. No, cos I don't even like lassies anyway and I particularly hate you! <coughs> Can I... <laughs> What have you got for me, son? I want to talk to you about the Burniston Butcher. Mate, what's he been up to? Has he been importing black market beef? No, no. The person you named the Burniston Butcher. Oh. Is that the guy that won the Pie of the Year award? No, that... That's Richie Stroke, Burniston Butcher. <laughs> the Burniston Butcher is the guy that's killed four people and never been caught. The murderer! Aye. What about him? I think you should come up with a different name for him. Why? 
I just think there's a lot of confusion or what Burnless and Butcher sells meat and what's the one that kills people. <laughs> That's what I'd expect for the Burnless and Herald. The best. I love it. Aye. All right, let me have a think then. Let me have a think. Mm. What does it look like, this fella? Nobody knows, but imagine he looks like me. The Burniston Tramp. No, no, that doesn't relate to him being a murderer. The Burniston Angry Tramp. No, no. Like, maybe something today with his demeanour, right? Imagine I'm him. The Burniston Queen. No, no, no. Like, like, the constipated killer. No. Maybe something today with the murders. All the murders happened on a Wednesday. The Wednesday... Whoa, whoa. Walloper! <laughs> walloper? He wallops people. Wallop, you're dead. <laughs> he is not a walloper. Right, hold on. I'll get Julie in here. She's a good ideas man. Julie, could you step into the office, please? <laughs> Julie, what time do you think of a new name for the Burniston Butcher? Uh, the Burniston Pie Man? <laughs> the murderer. The murderer, Julie. Try this. All his victims were found stuffed into the bottom of Willie Bins. The Burniston Bottom Stuffer! I love it! Print it! No, no, I am not a bottom stuffer. Just leave it. Just forget it. What are you so bothered about it for, anyway? Because I am the Burniston Butcher. Oh, right. Right, well, just you leave it with us. We'll sort out the confusion. Thank you. Don't want to put off your customers, know what I mean? <laughs> Are you man grubs up? You are starving, man. Oh. Yeah, a breast of chicken curry, man, that's yours. There's a rice. There's a ribs and all, man. Yes. These noodles, yours and all? That's mine, aye. Here you go. Corn toast, man. Yours. Yes. Spring rolls, yours. Another bag of them. Yours, man. Lovely grub. Portion of chippos. Yours. Charsu chow mein. That's mine, aye. And a banana fritter. If I was you, mate, I'd eat that anew. It's nothing worse than a cold banana fritter. Right, true. Um, I think that's it, mate. Right, that's all my starters. <laughs> Make close now. Right, chicken satay, man. That's mine, aye. Right, Fried rice. Three portions, mate. What's up? Chicken and black bean sauce. That's mine. Chicken and black bean sauce with green peppers. What's up? Chicken and black bean sauce with red peppers, man. Brilliant, cheers. Chicken and black bean sauce with any peppers. Smells brilliant, that. Chicken and black bean sauce with nae black bean sauce and green peppers. Bring it on, man, brilliant. Chilli salt and spicy chicken. Me, mate. Chilli salt and spicy beef. Me, man. Chilli salt and spicy prawn, man. That's me and all magic. Chilli salt and spicy chips. Oh, you need to try these, mate. Chilli salt and spicy cheese. Yes. Chilli salt and spicy chicken with nae chillies, nae salt and mild instead of spicy. That's mine, aye. And pineapple fritter. That's mine. See, if I was you, mate, I'd eat that in a nose. There's nothing worse than a cold pineapple for it. Tell me about it, man. Grilled chicken Peking style. Brilliant. Cheers. Roast chicken with gravy. Cheers, man. Beef. Beef what? Just beef. That's me, mate. <laughs> fried onions boiled instead of fried. Me, mate. Hot and sour soup, cold and sweet instead of hot and sour. That's mine. <laughs> Crispy shredded beef and sweet and sticky sauce, saffron instead of crispy, whole instead of shredded, spicy instead of sweet and dry instead of sticky. Does it sound right? Oh, and prawn instead of beef, man. Aye, that's me, I'm wrong. Oh, oh bowl of lemonade. Lemonade? That's for lemonade. Look, I'm all but a joke, man. Phone name. Phone name in her! <laughs> As a director of a soap opera, you have a responsibility, I feel, to reflect the reality of people's lives. So when a friend of mine said to me, if soap operas are so realistic, how come no one ever goes to the toilet? I saw that as a direct challenge to our entire industry. Do you 
want to get to know me. Do you? Aye, Thomas. I love you. Before you say that, there's one thing you should know about me. Something I thought I would take to my grave. What is it? Oh, I don't know, I need to go to the toilet. I can't have a shite in peace. <laughs> Gosh. Well, do your worst, Mr. Mulgrew. Oh, I'll do better than my worst. I'll do my second worst. I need the toilet. <laughs> You can't put that body in your green bin, mate. Stuff like that's got to go in your brown bin. You know, with the grass and the plants and that. If you want that emptied, you'll need to get that body out of there. Shick. Fucking <laughs> Bloody bins. Just doing my job, mate. Just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> 